All right, so for oil pump inspection, what you're really looking for is you're looking for big scratches uh, along here and then inside here and looking for a, now you see this one's got some pretty nasty scratches because this one's getting set up to get a new bushing installed. Um, that's why it's so clean. And then you're also looking on the rotor. You're looking for big gouges inside there, um, big nicks on here anything that like got sucked through it'll fuck this thing up big scratches through here and again outside make sure there's nothing too aggressive i mean this is pretty bad this one's in rough shape but they kind of all look like this um and then again pitting and gouging on the lobes um there's a spec for this in the uh, service manual for how big this gap can be right here and so you might want to look that up and check them I just replace these because I can get a new one from the dealership and then the biggest one is big gouges here um, if something gets sucked across this front cover it'll uh, damage this really bad um, and then that will lead to oil seeping past the pressure side on the outside here so uh, you're just looking for anything super aggressive. Uh, and then if you take this cover off, replace this O-ring. It will leak if you don't. you got to replace that O-ring. All right, so here's the problem. The oil shaft gets fucked up, but really what happens is this hole gets fucked. And this is they're saying to dremel this down so that you get lubrication in here, but this is high-pressure oil right here. This is going to be, per, like, you're not sealing that, and so you're going to get plenty of oil feed down in there. But look how much this moves back and forth. You see how wiggly that is? This one's not perfect, but it's in better shape. That's a, See how much less wiggle is going on here? So what's going on is that this hole ends up looking like an hourglass, and then when this shot's in there, it wiggles like crazy. And when this hole does get too big, when the clearances there do get too big, then you lose all your oil, pre oil pressure through here. See how you can kind of see how much gap there is? That's where you're losing your oil pressure is right there. It's wild, but like, that's what happens. That's where it goes. And sure, you can try to run an electric oil pump, but I don't think you're gonna have as much luck as if you go get these. You can get these from the hardware store. I got these like Ace Hardware. And you machine them out, and then you'll machine this hole. You machine, drill this out, and then you bore this out to be the exact size as a new oil pump and then you press that into you drill this out to the outside diameter of this and then you press fit this into the front cover and this is stronger than the aluminum and it won't wear out if you want to actually solve this problem you just need to fix a front your front cover the other place that you lose oil pressure are these front covers this is the actual like cap of the oil pump right and you get a bunch of gouging here and gouging here and now you have your high pressure side and your low pressure side if if oil is allowed between here you're going to lose oil pressure it's just going to flow from high to low instead of from high into the engine which is what this port does and so you can see most of these are all fucked they got a bunch of scoring and gouging um these are you know i'd reuse these ones but um some of them have like you'll see you'll get a big crunch across the front and so that's why you want to replace this. Yeah, this one's pretty pretty shot. Um, you can kind of feel it with your fingernail and shit. So once those go bad, then you know you're you're fucked. So this, yeah, that's why you need to replace these front covers too. All right. So once you've got your front cover off of your engine, this is where everything's gonna go. So you've got your crank seal. Make sure that the oil lips facing in is the inside. Um, your water pump oil seal is going to go right in here. Again, make sure that the oil lip is facing on the inside. I don't have a uh, seal for this right now, so that's going to go right there. And then you're going to get two O-rings. They need to be 10 mil, so your 10.8s might not fit. And they're going to go here and here. Um, keep in mind, uh, I put a little dab of RTV just in the holes here and then set these in so that they don't fall out when I'm putting the case back into the engine. And then for the water pump, because these will just, well, they'll never come out when I want them to come out, but whatever. For the water pump seal, 
your rotor is going to get this little white ceramic thing. This is two pieces. There's a rubber bit and then the disc. This is going to go in here. Make sure you clean this out really good, um, this space here. And then that's just going to press into there. And it's not going to fit super tight. Like It's just going to kind of set in there. And then this is the spring-loaded water pump seal. And from the front, the side with the four bits, this needs to go down with the black rubber facing in. And then that's going to press down into there. And then uh, you're going to want to grab a socket. You can't hit this spring-loaded part. You need to only hit the outside metal ring. So you want to make sure you go down super square and, and even and then hit that with a socket to get it all the way down. This lip here, this this outside edge, needs to be all the way up against these four all the way around. Make sure that's super flat, otherwise it will leak. And then uh, the ceramic ring rides on this little rubber ridge right here. So when it's put together, it should look like that inside and then you put your screw in. And then, uh, yep, yeah, put your water pump cover, uh, seal, and cover down. You don't need RTV any of this. Just clean it really good with some brake clean when you're done scraping all the old gasket off of. It should be good to go. And then um, when you put your water pipe back on, uh, clean this out really good, and then put a little bit of, uh, like, brake grease, um, like uh, disc brake grease on that O-ring. Uh, and replace the O-ring if you can, and then pop that in to keep this from leaking.